Swami Vivekananda's immense power of concentration and his discipline of doing what he said, of walking the talk, of not indulging in empty preachings and hypocrisy. When Swami Vivekananda was in America, a very shocking incident took place with him. If it had happened to an ordinary person, he or she would certainly be shaking in fear. But Swami Vivekananda was a God-realized sage and his reaction was very different. You see, in those days, Swami Vivekananda would go about from one American town to another giving lectures on Vedanta. In one such lecture, he spoke of the power of concentration. He said that a person's power of concentration should be such that he should become completely oblivious to the outside world. A group of college students who were living on a ranch as cowboys heard his lecture and they decided to put Swami Vivekananda to the test. These boys invited Swami Vivekananda to lecture them. When Swami Vivekananda arrived on their ranch, they asked him to stand on a wooden tub and give his lecture. Swamiji began his speech and soon appeared lost in his subject. Suddenly, gunshots were fired in his direction and bullets went whizzing past his ears. But the Swami continued his lecture as though nothing had happened. When he had finished, the young men flocked about him and congratulated him as a good fellow. So what do we learn from this incident? The first is that Swami Vivekananda had an immense power of concentration which is needed if we want to succeed not just in life but also in meditation. His power of concentration was so great that he could effortlessly commit to memory 10 volumes of the Encyclopedia Britannica in one single reading alone. You can read about this incident on the spiritualbee.com. Link to it is below this video. So this is the kind of concentration we all need to develop. The second is that Swami Vivekananda was not a hypocrite. He walked the talk. He did exactly as he preached. He did not say one thing and do another, which is what many hypocritical people and fake gurus do today. They preach lofty ideals to others but do not follow those ideals themselves. They have one set of rules for themselves and another for their followers. But Swami Vivekananda was not such. When he told people to meditate and concentrate so deeply that they became oblivious to their outside surroundings, he said so because he had practiced such a deep meditation himself. That is why he could attain to Samadhi or God Realization. His meditation used to be so deep that once his entire body was covered with mosquitoes. But Swami Vivekananda remained completely oblivious to their bites. When his fellow disciple Girish Babu went to call on Swami Vivekananda, he gently touched his back and his palm became red with blood. So severely had the mosquitoes bitten Swami Vivekananda. Yet Swami Vivekananda remained completely unaffected, deeply absorbed in meditation. So this is the level of concentration we too must strive to attain if we want to succeed on the spiritual path.